is Off Pro Exterior Services LLC again. Got a shipment in the day with some proportion of parts, so I just wanted to share what I got going on. I know there's a bunch of videos on the internet about proportioners. I get it. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. Is uh, I got I got a little different approach, and I just want to share it with you guys. So let me set the camera down here, get you a good view. Okay, here I have the uh, Pentair half inch valves, which is, you know, your standard. By the way, I got these from a local pool company. I told them I was a pressure washing company. They gave me a contractor discount of 25%. So these were like, they're 25, 28 bucks a piece, which is not bad. And I know they, they're not the GF valves. I get it, but they, they work. Just gotta be careful with them. So I got two of these. Well, why you got two? Well, because I got a generic ball valve for my water line. If you ask anybody with a proportion and ask them if they ever turn the water line off, the answer is always, I never turn the water off. Okay, well, why have a $30 or in case of a GF, $100 valve in place that you never touch? So the only thing I can find of why you wouldn't use a ball valve in a proportion setup is they claim that the, the draw is different on a ball valve than it is on a meter valve. So I'm going to test that. I'm going to put two lines in a bucket, same equal amount of water, squirt it until one runs out and see how much is left in the other. I'm going to fix that up. So I'll prove that test when I get this thing built and continue, you know, I'll put it in the video later in the video after I get it all done. So, you know, of course, you always start with, and, and by the way, all these parts are at uh, U.S. Plastics in Ohio. Uh, so anyway, I started, you start with your four-way and you got your two 90s, one's a male, Half inch, female. Screw one in. And this is all just hand tight, so we're just going to do it like that. So you put one on each side, right? So, again, just hand tight, just for demonstration purposes. And you're going to run your a, uh, nipple in here. A half inch nipple. It's about an inch and three quarters long. Half inch on each side. You're going to run your half inches on each side. Then you put your pin tear valve. I'm going to use uh, the middle one as my soap valve. You can do whatever you want. Don't doesn't matter. I'll make this one an SH valve. Because that's the one thing we do on a meter is the SH. So you have that, something like that. And then I'll put the ball valve on the end for my water valve. So... That's kind of it. You run your some more nipples here, some here, and one here. Okay. So, and then you got check valves, half inch check valves. And you can see an arrow. The arrow is you want it facing where the pump's sucking, right? So, and you, and you can put these before or after the valve. It doesn't really matter. According to my research, so you got your arrow that way. You just don't want nothing to flow back and get contamination in either tank. So you have that, and you have this one was the arrow right there. And uh, let's see, I got a, a bunch of hose barbs. And uh, let's see. I would highly recommend anytime you order bulk parts like this, like from from uh, from them. Uh, me personally, I order extra because it's like fifty cents or twenty eight cents for this. This is a half inch to half inch bar, half inch to half inch bar. This would be a hosing. That run well I'm sorry this is not this does not go here half inch on the SH half inch on the water draw half inch on your water draw and I got for the soap you want a half inch MPT or FMPT I'm sorry mayo not F and a quarter inch bar. So put that for your soap. 
And again, these are all plastic fittings. You don't need to over tighten them. Get them hand tight and go a quarter of a turn. And use a, a sealant, not a Teflon tape. And then on the, on the, uh, I don't kind of fitness here. I didn't know what all these fittings are. Maybe I did. And then I, I got a 90 for the top. Again, I always have them. I always use these, you know, from a downstream injector going into my soap tank, my, my SH tank. It's, it's perfect. So I got a couple spares. That's great. Got a couple spares of them. That's great. And got some 90s. Got some straights. So you can put a 90 here or a straight, depending on how you're mounting it. So it would look something like this. If you can see that, you get a good view. And again, I'm gonna test the draw. I'm curious to know if that meter and valve, how much different it's gonna pull versus the ball valve. So I've never seen the test done. All right, guys. So anyway, that's about it for that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing wrapped up. I'm gonna bring the true blue inside because it's a little cold out today. And uh Get that done, and then I also ordered, just so you know, some bulkhead fittings. Again, it's always good to order these when you when you're uh, processing an order because it's they, they like five, it's like six bucks a piece. It's the uh, I don't know banjo, so it's the banjo brand because I'm a, it's what I plan to do in my my bleach tank. Put a bulkhead, run my SH. My water tank, put a bulkhead, run my water. And I'm getting a soap tank, boom, run my water. So that's again why I got some of these valves here. Uh, some of the, you know, so I can run it like that. So anyway, let me get this together. I'm curious, and I also, I'm going to also try, this is a, uh, let's see. A three-quarter inch. So I may, I may end up using that over the half inch. Anyway, that's it in a nutshell. I'm going to put this together. Do a draw test. We're going to get it on video. We're going to prove this theory if you truly need a metering valve on the water side of your proportion. Catch up with you soon. All right, guys. This is the uh, finished product all true blued together. As you can see here, you can probably see it better like that. Again, water, soap, SH. I'm trying to ball valve. I'm going to test this theory out. If not, I'll put another Pentair valve in there. But you got your check valves, arrows pointing up, uh, quarter inch barb, half inch barbs. Got a three quarter inch barb here. And I also have it 90 degree. So I just think if you can get three quarters to the pump, it, you know, it's probably a little restriction here somewhere. It's all half inch, but, you know, it won't right, hurt. I finally got the proportion to put together with some true blue. As you can tell, we have the water with the ball valve, soap, which is off, SH, which is all the way open, just like the water. I got two five gallon tanks here filled to this line with water. The hose is running in. I have a three quarter inch hose from the proportioning valve or, or proportioner to the pump, 12 volt, five and a half with uh, probably 225 foot of half inch hose flexilla. So anyway, the purpose of this test is to see if the water draw is gonna be the same as the Pentair valve draw. Because when you're mixing your chemicals, it needs to be as accurate as possible. We're not building rockets here, guys, but you know, if it's a dramatical difference, I'll put a Pentair valve here. If it's not, I may consider not doing it. So I don't know. Anyway, this test is here is to prove to see if you truly need a third metering valve for just the water since it's always on. So anyway, I'm gonna just hold a gun and we'll watch the water, see how it draws. And I'm using a uh, homemade gun with uh, a Ryobi tip. So, all right guys, I don't know if you can see the water. Let's see. Pulling it down. You see the water line. You see the water line here. That's the ball valve. There's a water line here. 
I apologize for the light, it's an overcast day. But it looks to me, as of right now, you can see the water line. And then you can, hopefully you can see the water line. Got a little air in the system, because again, putting it down, taking it apart and putting it together. Well, guys, interesting. I don't know that I need to go any further. If you could tell, this is the H2O running up to the ball valve and the water line's right here. You can see that. Okay, so it's about half full. This is the line that's running to the metering valve all the way open, a pin tear, and it's right here. So here's your differences right here. So again, right here and right here. So there is a difference. Wow, okay, did not realize that. I guess you could choke the ball valve and try to meter it out, but if anybody accidentally changes that thing or anything, it screw, screws up your ratios. So with that said, again, I bought three. I got a third one here. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this ball valve with this metering valve, do the same test, see if we get the same results. We should get equal results, but let's test it out. So I'll be right back. All right, all right, I'm back. I was able to swap out the ball valve for the Pentair valve. So I got this all the way on five. Soap off SH, well, it's not SH, but the SH knob on five. Again, two buckets. Here's your line with the water, if you can see that. And here's the other line with the water. So it's an equal amount of water. Half inch hose, again, same setup. The only difference is I changed the ball valve to a Pentair valve to see if the draw is gonna be more equal versus uh, how the ball valve pulled more water than the pin tip out. So let's check it out, folks. So let's see here as we, I'm gonna try to hold this camera while I give it a pull. It was very interesting, the ball valve sucked that much more water. Again, I had no idea. That's why I wanted to test it out because I didn't. I've never seen a test, a video test of, of a draw pull through a ball valve versus a metering valve. And I still got to tune this pump up and everything to get get my setup right. But this is this is all temporary. I just built the proportioner, as you know, so. So folks, I don't know if you can see the water line. It's almost identical. I think the test is over with. Water line here on the left, but you in water line here on your right. Maybe a slight difference, but not so much. That's equal. I call it equal. If you can see the water lines here. And then here. That is equal. So the theory, the results of the theory is, not the theory, the results of the test is a lot of people say you don't need a metering valve for your water. If you put a ball valve, you're gonna draw more water, your ratio is gonna be off. Is it a bad thing? Mm, I don't, again, we're not building rockets here, but it could throw it off 1% if you're trying to get to that 5% for a roof and you need a little hotter mix. Uh, so uh, again, uh, with the results of my test, I'm going to stick with the Pentair on the water side and go with it. And that's my test. So the plan here is to, uh, obviously I'm going to pick all this up and I'm still debating on where and how I'm going to mount this. I'm thinking temporarily is I'm going to get a plate that goes here and I'm going to mount the proportion of sideways uh, and, and feed it to the pump and then a pump to the reel. So in paint it black, make it look real nice. I've seen a lot of videos and trailer builds with that setup, and I really like that setup. I'm just looking for functionality. I want everything curbside. I want to be able to get to it quick. 
I want to be able to, you know, if I need to work on something, I can do it. I really don't have much more options. I thought about putting it in the back, but uh, I think that's the place where it's going to go because I want to put the pump as close as I can to the metering valve. And I would like to eliminate this 90 because any 90s you put into it, obviously, is going to be a restriction. So I need to figure that out. I haven't laid it out yet, but I will. But again, the whole purpose of this video was to build the proportion of valve from parts from U.S. Plastics and a local pool company for the Pentairs. And do the draw test, ball valve versus metering valve on the water to make sure the draw is equal. So there's the results. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up and I need to figure it out. And I'll do another video when I get it installed. But anyway, guys, that's the results of the test. I hope every, all is good. And you guys have a Merry Christmas if this is my last video before Christmas. And I appreciate all the subscribers and all the people calling in and, and wanting help. Look, I'm here to help, man. I'm a growing business and I'm just wanting to pass on the information. So please like and subscribe. Any questions, hit me up. Peace.